is the do-it-yourself 60 second electronic timer. They cost around $5. Let's check out what's inside. We'll start with the board. It is very clearly labeled. It has these holes in the side in case you want to put it on a stand. It also includes a pack of LEDs, a slew of different types of resistors, two 104 capacitors, a buzzer, three different electrolytic capacitors. Two of them are 10 microfarads, and this one is 220 microfarads, a diode, four 8050 transistors, four on and off switches, four microcontrollers, two CD4017s, a CD4069, and of course a 555 timer. Lastly, it comes with this piece, which allows you to connect it to the power. So let's get going. I'm going to begin by connecting the two CD4017s, the CD4069, and the 555 timer. Next, the electrolytic capacitors. The 10s go here and here, and the 220 goes on the bottom. The side that is shorter, and also has a gray area here is the negative side. The two black buttons are going to go in the start and stop location, and the two white buttons will go in the pause and power position. Then the buzzer, the positive side over here. Next to transistors, one of them is down here. Two of them are right next to each other here. And the last one is just under the buzzer. The two ceramic 104 capacitors, one goes over here and the second one goes just on top of the buzzer. Now the resistors, the positions are listed on the board. The diode goes over here. The power attachment goes over here. The last step is to connect the LEDs. The longer side of the LED is the positive or the anode. It goes behind the arrow. Don't forget that there's one over here as well. So here is the finished product. Let's see it in action. There's the power on and off. Push start to begin. It takes one second for it to travel to the next light. You can push pause and hold it. And you can hit stop and it will reset. There is an alarm when it finishes the cycle. Now some thoughts. Some of the things that I like about it, it is very sleek. The board is high quality. It comes with a lot of pieces. It can attach to a USB cable. There is also a lot of soldering in this project. So if you're trying to work on your soldering, this is a decent project to do it. It also comes with some extra LEDs in case some of them burn out. For the negatives, it doesn't have a very practical day-to-day -day use. It is missing these two pins. Overall, I have some mixed feelings about this project. If you want to work on your soldering, this is a good kit to get. But if you're looking for an item that has a practical use, I would not recommend this. Overall, I'd rate this a 5 out of 10.